I'm Ozzy Griffin, and this is a response to the stand-up philosopher Richard M. O'Brien, my friend and fellow YouTuber, and the awesome old geezer on you, you now, as people have called him. So, today, I'm going to tell you about meaning. Flags have a meaning. It is whatever the people want it to mean. That's fine. However, I'm also going to tell you about bullies, because bullies try and take meaning from you. They rob your life of any semblance of meaning. You like playing playing guitar. Well, you know what? Guitars are stupid. You shouldn't play a guitar. You like watching uh, animated kid shows because you think it's well written and pithy and you uh, enjoy having a guilty little pleasure. No, you shouldn't do it. That's bad for you. <sighs> do you know what the meaning behind a flag's layout is? In the top right-hand corner, well, left from your perspective, in the top left-hand corner, you have where the country in general derives its power from. And in the case of the United States of America, there's a whole bunch of stars there. 52 or so at last count. Anyway. Um, and those stars represent every state that by the consent of the governed has said, yes, we will back up this sovereign nation with our blood, sweat and tears and our hard work. And our tax money. Because for better or worse, this is the organization that represents us best. This flag symbolizes what we stand for. And those red and white stripes don't sit in disparate corners. If you want to see something like that, look at the heraldry of the royal families of Europe and the bickering little symbols that don't sit together. They're all divided by lines. Look at it. Your flag does not do that. You know what you do when there are racists out there? You give meaning to that flag by giving it to every student in the school or the state or the country if you've got it. Take the measurements of everyone in your state, get a massive printing press to going or a uh, textile mill, Lord knows you could use the jobs, and make American flag shirts for every one of those kids. So they can go to school and they can say, you know what, the racists haven't won We'll make our meaning for our flag, because it's our flag inside these borders. And don't you give up on it. Because the worst kind of bullying are the people that support the bullies by taking the ability to make meaning uh, up for things when you want to. Because you talk to anyone who's ever been in a prison camp, you talk to anyone who's ever been under someone else's control, you've got to make your own meaning. And if you make the flag of the United States of America mean a bunch of racist rednecks that want to spoil everyone else's fun, then you've lost. Forget about it. Don't bother having a country. Don't bother having a society. However, if you think that there is a meaning to your flag, if you think that the consent of so many governed states have come together to represent their own best interests, mistakes notwithstanding, then you tell everybody to get in the face of a bunch of racists and you say, I will give this flag to you. I will wear this flag myself. If anyone else wants one, I will get in there and find a way for you to have a flag of your own. This flag that you can take home with you so that everyone can see you're like me. You believe in something. Your life has meaning in these borders by the fact that you're willing to help out like everyone else in these borders. I like to think that my life has some meaning. I like to think that I would help anyone in this country in a time of need and without, and I like to think I've done so every so often. And I do so because my country derives its sovereignty in the top right hand corner of the flag, or left from your perspective, from Britain for its laws. And I believe that though that Southern Cross you see there, uh, as New Zealand has almost the same flag, also represents the unique point of view that we get here in my country. And I believe that that seven pointed star right underneath the Union Jack represents the seven states and territories 
that make up my country, Australia. And I believe that that means something to me any time I say to people, I'm an Aussie. I'm an Aussie Griffin. And it makes me distinct and proud. If I ever lost that meaning, I'd be a poorer person for it. And I'd like to think a lot of my friends and family would be poorer for it too. Thank you for your time. God bless the United States of America. And don't you ever let them take that flag off you. Give it to everyone else as a mass mail out if you have to. Put it, give it freely to every school in the country if you have to. However, don't you dare let them take it off you. Because then the bullies win. And you don't want to live in that country.